Hi, this is John from Branson Serco. We're going to do a tutorial video today on the difference between using a male and a female stencil. And we're going to do the video today on something really easy, um, a couple of uh, stainless steel tumblers. So uh, what we have are um, an Imperial Army uh, mug we're going to do that's going to be primarily stainless steel that we're going to actually be using uh, female stencils on to where the image is going to be sandblasted, but the rest of the mug is going to be stainless steel. And then we've got um, a uh, Rebel Army mug where the stencils are going to be on there and then uh, the uh, rest of the mug is going to be coated. So the, um, the, the lettering on the script is going to actually be stainless steel. So we're going to take a minute to uh, go ahead and prep the, the Rebel Alliance Cup and then uh, we'll come back and show you how we do the uh, Imperial Army one and, and walk you through that step by step uh, as far as the process that we use. We're by no means the experts or you know this is the process you have to use. These are just pro the process that we use in the shop that work for us. So if these tips help, great. If they don't, whatever you're doing is probably works fine. All right, we'll be right back. All right, so we've already degreased this with acetone and, and all I do with the uh, degreasing on these mugs is, is especially is uh, I'll just get a piece of paper towel, water it down with a little bit of acetone and just rub it really, really well. Um, the stainless steel tumblers, it's not as critical as uh, it is with like a firearm or something where you need to just really, really soak it um, to get all the, the grease out of it. Um, you know, firearms, even brand new coming from the factory, are going to have that gunk in them that, um, you know, they pack these things in when they're manufacturing them. Um, and all that has to dissolve. These stainless steel tumblers, really smooth surface. They don't retain oil that, that much. Um, we just wipe them down. Um, I've gotten questions before too about, well, you're touching that surface without gloves on. Uh, I keep my hands clean when we're here in the shop and we're working, um, messing with tape and stencils and things like that uh, is an absolute pain. Um, it's not that critical. Um, you'll hear people talk about don't touch that, don't touch that, don't touch that with your bare hands because of the oils on your fingers. If you're that worried about it, um, especially with the projects that we're doing with these mugs, the, the parts that you're touching are, are going to be underneath the stencil anyway. They're not even going to be coated with anything. So it's just not that critical. If you're worried about it later on, take another little bit of acetone on a rag, wipe down the rest of it. These stencils that we sell um, are all made out of Avery Dennison um, high heat paint mask, the SF100-235. You can wipe acetone on it, it's not gonna hurt it. It'll go through the sandblast cabinet. Uh, we sandblast these uh, tumblers at about 40 PSI, but we've put our uh, Avery Dennison stock in at up to 90 PSI and never had an issue with it. Um, you know, the, the paint mask that we use, um, is chemical resistant, heat resistant, uh, goes through the sandblaster. It, we've put solvents on it. It's just really good material. Uh, works really well for heat cure as far as uh, Cerakote goes uh, or air cure, you know, Duracoat, Krylon, the C-Series for uh, Cerakote. It's just, you never have any issues with it. Um, when we do some of our bigger camo uh, projects and things on guns or sunglasses, the Oakleys, uh, or on firearms, um, we will run this uh, material through the oven five, six, seven sometimes uh, cycles of 180 degree heat cycles for eight to 10 minutes, pull it out, let it cool down, put another layer of stencils over top, spray it again, run that through, run that through. And we've never had an issue with these, you know, curling up and peeling or failing to stick to the surface. It's just really, really good material. Um, if you're buying these stencils online, make sure that you're getting uh, the correct material. We got into making our own stencils and selling them online in our store, on eBay, on Amazon, on Etsy, um, because we were getting, we we're buying stencils that were the wrong material. So we bought a commercial cutter uh, and started making our own stencils. Now we have well over a hundred stencils um, that we have for sale. So um, enough of the plugging, we'll get back to the project. Um, what I do, or what I do, and like I said, uh, this is just our way of doing things. It's not saying this is the, the perfect way to do it. Um, I use high heat tape, and what I'll do is lay the, the tumbler down on its side and just run a uh, quick strip of this quarter inch high heat tape around the top, the, uh, around the mouth of it on the outside. And what that does is it just gives you a band of stainless steel once you're completely finished with your project and it also gives 
the uh, rest of your tape and also your clamps that uh, that we use, the clamping system, we use something to grab onto. Um, so it's got a utilitarian pr uh, purpose plus it ends up um, giving it a nice look in the end. So that's all it is, just a strip of st uh, high heat tape. Make sure it's seated really well all the way around. And then what I'll do is take just regular frog painter's tape um, and then just start peeling off in two to three inch strips and stick it in on the inside and then fold it back over the top. And all you're looking to do there again is give our little clamping system something to grab onto on the inside and the out. Frog tape, masking tape, it all does fine in the oven. These cups get baked at 180 degrees. I've, we've never had a problem with residue that you can't just wipe out with a little bit of acetone. So we'll line the inside of the mug with the frog tape and just going all the way around. The only thing that you need to be careful of is that you don't get any frog tape below your blue line here because obviously that'll mask um, when you go to spray and uh, you'll end up with an imperfection. Okay, so that's taped all the way around. It doesn't need to be pretty. It's, you know, this is just utility. It's not anything that's gonna have to do with the finished product. Now what we did, um, and we've, we've seen the inflatable bladders. We've seen people just stuff these with a, a wooden wedge and hang them that way. We've seen people spray them upside down. For us, what just works the best is what works the best for us. Um, I went to our local place, it's sort of like Harbor Freight. It's got a lot of cheap tools and bought these little, uh, uh, rubber tipped clips uh, for 25 cents a piece. They've lasted for months. Uh, when they start to wear out, uh, I throw them in the trash, I buy more um, with just a little length of wire in between them. What I normally do is I'll find the logo on the, the tumbler and put one of them there, making sure that you don't go below the blue line and then put the other one opposite. And what that does is it just gives you an area when you go to put your stencils on, the logo will be offset so that you don't end up, you got more of an area when you go to put your, uh, your stencils on. And then from there, I just take normal masking tape and tape off the mouth of it. So I'll go ahead and do that. It's um, pretty boring, but just bear with me. Tear off about a three to four inch strip. And same thing, all you've got to worry about is that you don't get any tape below the blue on the other side. So if you end up with a little tail, just tear it off. And then what I do from there, again, two or three inch strips, lay them on their side and fold them over. Any gaps you, you have on the top, just tear off another little piece and cover it over. This does not need to be airtight. All you're doing is keeping blast media and any coating from just the, just the pressure from getting it down in there. So it's not super critical. You just don't want any of that coating to get inside the cup where you're gonna actually be drinking. So that's all we're doing is just closing off that opening so we don't get anything in it. Okay, from this point, we're gonna go ahead and apply our stencils. Um, this is gonna be the Imperial Army cup, so it's gonna be a female stencil. And by female, what we mean is you pull the image out of the stencil, lay it down, and you're gonna be basically sandblasting the image into the cup and then spraying the coating so that there's actually no base coat. The, the base coat there, or the coating that you spray is gonna give you the actual image as opposed to spraying the entire surface and then laying a stencil on and spraying another coat over top of it and then peeling that stencil off and getting your image. That would be a male stencil. We'll show you an example of that here in a minute. So just like all our, all our stencils and most of the ones you, you buy, you peel the backing off, 
of the, uh, the stencil and the transfer tape, just discard that. And this transfer tape is low tack, so it's gonna stick to the stencil and with the idea being that you're then gonna transfer this to your surface and then peel that transfer tape off and it'll leave your stencil on there. So just find where you want it on your uh, tumbler or your, your firearm, whatever you're doing. I usually fold it in the middle and then roll my way out to the edges. And then you just wanna take your finger and smooth it out. If you get wrinkles that are off of your area that are uh, off the edges of your actual ed, uh, stencil where you're going to be uh, spraying your coating, it doesn't matter um, because those are just masking off the area that uh, you're not uh, coating. So not super critical that this thing is smooth all the way around. You just want to make sure you don't have wrinkles right on the edge of where your coating is going to go because then you'll get feathering underneath and you'll have imperfections in your final product. So you just work this all the way around. And you'll see what I mean. You know, there's a couple of wrinkles and a couple of bubbles, but these aren't on this inside edge where the image is actually gonna be. So they don't matter. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, what you want to do is make sure at least one of your edges is completely flush so that when you go back to peel your transfer tape off, you just get it started and then just basically roll it right back on itself and it should just peel right off leaving your stencil there. And if it pulls up at all, just smooth it back out with your finger. And that's what you got. All right, we're gonna go ahead and um, shut the camera off for a minute so you guys aren't bored with just basically putting masking tape all over this thing. I'll come back, I'll show you this, and I'll show you the Rebel Alliance one that we already uh, prepped, and then we'll be ready to go in the sandblast cabinet. All right, so we finished taping this off, um, and like I said, all we did was basically mask anywhere where there was um, naked stainless steel, we masked off with just regular you know, masking tape. So um, your end thing is, uh, basically just to cover all that up. So what we're gonna end up doing is sandblasting just the image and the text on the back, and that's all that's gonna get coated. So in the final result of what we're gonna have with this cup is um, just those images Cerakoted, the rest of the cup will be stainless steel and then we'll, we'll clear coat over that. Um, the other cup we're doing is gonna be a Rebel Alliance cup and all we're gonna do stainless steel on that one is the text on the back. So uh, we've gone ahead and put that on there and the rest of this cup um, we didn't tape off because obviously this entire cup's gonna get sandblasted, we'll coat that and at the very end we'll peel those stencils off revealing the stainless steel underneath. Um, real quick before we throw these in the cabinet, um, I did this cup, um, and you'll see these, um, other people do them, we're not the only ones, um, but it's a red, white, and blue tattered flag, um, and this one particular one's got our logo on it, or our uh, web address on it. Um, I, I take this to gun shows, I drink my coffee out of this every morning. Um, if you guys would like to see a tutorial on doing this one, it's pretty um, in depth, and there's a lot of little tricks and techniques to it. Uh, just leave us some, some comments at the bottom if you'd like to see that, and we'll do it. Otherwise, if you know you think, hey, I got that, I don't, I'm not going to worry about it, then we won't worry about doing a video. But if you would like to see how to do this one, let me know, and I'll, I'll do a tutorial on that. So we're going to go to the sandblast cabinet. Uh, we're really not set up with the camera we have to, to film inside the sandblast cabinet where you'd be able to see. Otherwise, it's just a bunch of clouds. Um, we sand these at 40 PSI with uh, 100 grit red garnet. So um, nothing really to see there. You just want to go back and forth and have an even pattern. Uh, don't stop on one spot or you'll, you'll burn into the metal. Just even strokes all the way across and all you're looking to do is just rough this up. So we'll go do that real quick. We'll come back and show you what they look like and then we're gonna hang them in the booth and spray them. All right, so we just wanted to uh, show you the difference, uh, visually show you the difference between you know, what they're gonna look like when they come out of the sandblast cabinet between you know, a new one that's unsandblasted and everything. Um, to one that's sandblasted and ready to be coated. So um, at this point, we're gonna mix up uh, some coating. We're gonna be doing uh, graphite black, uh, forest green, and probably some uh, sage or maybe desert verde uh, on the other cup. So we'll figure it out as we go along, but we'll show you uh, the steps in the booth and uh, show you the end product here shortly. 
All right, so on the Rebel Cup, what we've done is uh, sprayed a base coat of burnt bronze. Uh, went ahead and put the uh, Rebel Alliance logo on there and then sprayed Desert Verde over top of it. And the only other thing we're going to do with this cup is uh, take our graphite black, which we already had mixed and loaded in the spray gun, and do some burlap effect on it. Um, you just take a piece of burlap and just stretch it and pull it in different directions and it just adds a kind of a cool hash mark. Um, we've talked about this in another video. Um, the closer you get, the darker the effect, the further away you get, the lighter the effect. Um, and, and we're not going to do the entire cup, we're just going to do little spots here and there. So I'm going to turn the booth on real quick. Uh, should still be able to hear us, and we'll get going. things I do is turn the cone all the way closed on the uh, spray gun, the HVLP gun, and what that does is it narrows down the, the cone of spray. Instead of having a big wide cone, it just lets me control exactly where the coating is going to go. So I just take this and just randomly spray with the burlap, and that's kind of the effect you get. So we'll turn it over here and do some on the other side. on the bottom. That's sort of what we're looking for on this cup. It's just to break it up, make it look a little dirty and a little bit battle worn. So we'll hang that one to air dry. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the female stencils on these cups. So again, all you do, I turn the volume way down because there's no sense of wasting all that spray. And all you're wanting to do is just add enough in here so that when you peel all the stencils, you have the coating <coughs> covering the, uh, the area that you've got. So. That's all you're looking for is just to coat it enough to where it's uniformly coated all over. Um, one thing I'll talk about real quick because I know I'm going to get it in the comments. No, I'm not wearing a respirator while we're in here. The only reason why is I'm not spraying huge volumes like I would on a gun. And with a respirator on, you'd never be able to hear me. So with the fan going, it's pulling everything out of here. Um, the only thing you really need a respirator for when you have a booth like this is when you're especially spraying inside of receivers and things like that, you'll get blowback. You don't want to breathe that. But otherwise, this fan sucks everything through the filter bank. <coughs> That's all there is to it. We're going to pop these in the oven for the uh, two hour bake at 180. And when they're done, we'll pull them out, peel everything off, and we'll clear coat them. So we'll come back at the end of that and show you what the final product looks like. Thanks. All right, so the cups are done. Uh, clear coat is pretty much set up. It needs uh, probably another few hours to dry completely, but it's uh, dry to the touch. Um, I really like the way these turned out. I like the uh, 
female stencil on the uh, stainless steel. I think it turns out really cool. Um, and you even get a little bit of a line there where the tape was wrapped around and the clear coat um, goes on. The Rebel Alliance one I think turned out really cool with the uh, burnt bronze and the uh, kind of the uh, burlap effect we did on it. Uh, we're probably going to go ahead and put these on eBay and just see how they do. Um, we don't really sell a whole lot of cups on eBay, but thought, you know, what the heck, with uh, Star Wars being real popular, we may give it a try. Uh, if you have any questions, you can contact us. Uh, our contact info is on our webpage, BransonCircuit.com. Our e email and my phone number are on there. Do not mind answering questions. Uh, just give us a, a shout and uh, we'll get back with you as quick as we can. Uh, special order stencils, we do those all the time. Uh, same thing, just shoot us an email. If you have an image, we can more than likely make a stencil out of it. Our store is also on our website. Um, you can order any of these stencils, plus we have close to 100 stencils on there. Um, and they're all reasonably priced, we have free shipping. Uh, check us out on YouTube, Facebook, our website, uh, Instagram, and Pinterest. Thanks for watching.